So for my project, I decided to do my experience on Jackson Pollock. And honestly, it is harder than you might think. What are you doing? I'm about to spray paint my background for my project. And I'm going to use black spray paint this time. Okay. Okay, let me see how this works. So I decided to spray paint my background black and I chose black because obviously if you use black with any other color, the contrast of it, it just brightens everything up. But also it's kind of personal to me as well. Black is kind of symbolic of a lot of things. That takes a while. It looks dry now. Well, I'm gonna start adding the white paint now. I don't know, I don't remember how he did it, but I'm gonna use the end of the paintbrush and see if it works. Oh, it's gonna get everywhere. Wow, it made, <laughs> that's a mistake. Dude, this doesn't work well. Let me see, how does he do it? He went like this, huh? How do he do it? Maybe I should use this way. So, going back to what I said about Jackson Pollock. Now, I don't know what he did with his paintbrushes or whatever he used, but I couldn't create the same effect. I couldn't do his whipping, fast action painting. And I gotta give props to him. He created a technique that I don't, I don't even know how to do. I can't even recreate it myself. And I tried, I tried it many different ways and I couldn't do it. Oh, that, oh, that looks messy. Oh, damn it. Damn it. Uh, so I decided to actually use contrasting colors such as just white. Um, I'm going to use cranberry wine, and it's going to look awesome. And plus, I decided to use 3D paint, which is kind of fun to me because I like I like things that just pop out even if you like doesn't matter how much layers and layers of paint how thick it is I just want it to pop out so with just one stroke of puppy paint it's gonna be there it's gonna it's gonna wow you day two cranberry one let me see I'm using a wooden stick this time now Watch out, you might splash the paint into the into the camera, then you're done. Ugh. Don't stop to me. I have to. That's how that's how the paint. What kind of painting is that? It's called Jackson Pollock. <laughs> have you never seen Jackson Pollock before? No, be careful. You're afraid I'm gonna get paint on me. Did you zoom in close? Yeah. Okay. That's the last one. Okay. I think that's enough. That's enough of the red. Okay. Now let it dry. Abby's gonna use blue puppy paint now. So here, it's blue. I don't know.
know why I use blue, but I don't know. It just it just sticks out to me for some reason. I think I, I just like blue in general. Maybe that might be one of my reasons why I'm using blue. But other than that, oh, that's too much blue. Ooh. Added a little red and a little more blue. That's the finished project as of now. Now we gotta wait till it dries. And then we're gonna add the silver and gold. Now it's time to add the last layer. Glitter puffy paint. Okay, let's see how to do this. <laughs> this is the gold one. Ew, is it coming out? Um, I decided to use gold and silver, kind of like, just, I don't know, to represent, you know, the, the sparks in life, I guess you can put it that way. Yes, my oh no. Okay, I think that's enough gold. Now I'm gonna do, I'm just go ahead and I'm just gonna go ahead and do this second color. I'm gonna do silver now. Silver will be my my base, the one that I want to show the most, highlight the most. Oh my god! So I kind of chose Jackson Pollock because um, honestly, for my kind of experience in art, I don't like making mistakes and it, it's hard to like I don't know how he did it, how he thinks oh chance versus like well, whatever it's meant to happen kind of thing uh, that looks very messy should I do red on the top layer then like an extra layer of red mm -hmm. it's kind of I don't know I thought it was hard because like I made so many mistakes just just like doing the whole thing in itself and like honestly it ta he has a lot of patience if like honestly if he thinks like every mistake he's ever done was just happened to be chance it's just not i just can't do it and uh, it was really hard to hold back on like making a mistake when i made that one first mistake i was i was inside i was like crying inside because i was like oh my god it's a mistake but I had to let it go, be the bigger per person, and move on. But it was fun. Okay, can I cut now? I'm gonna be using cranberry wine now. Oh, day two! Oh, shit, cut! Do it again. Hey, are you still filming? Cut! Lãng này thì nó bị cung từ sô lê, không được. Cung từ sô lê là cái gì? Whoops! <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> okay.